back to a new video related to lighting solution. Um, today I will speak about the cough lighting. Um, as I was receiving um, last week um, an email which um, the person was asking for help uh, to establish um, a lighting solution um, for the following space. So here we can see actually where the cough lighting will be placed uh, is situated and where we will place the LED strips so here we have a height of uh, seven seven meters approximately uh, so we have a let's say a big empty space between the ground floor and the first first floor so this area actually let's say it's uh, it's empty or yeah so we don't have a, a ceiling between the the ground floor and the first floor um, and here perimeter we need to have um, the, a, a cuff we'll have a cuff and then we need to establish uh, a cuff lighting and as well in the middle we will have um, it's requested um, suspended luminaire which um, uh, has uh, is a, a square shape and has a uh, will be three meters by th three meters uh, very very demanding actually in this view we can see actually we have a better understanding of um, the space itself and the dimensions so perimeter we have the cove where we need the led strip um, and assure the cove lighting and in the middle we will have a sp special luminaire i'll call it like this because usually you don't find on stock a luminaire which has a um, is three meters by three meters uh, shape of a square and also want to be mounted suspended and for this one in the middle uh, luminaire i choose to be also to have a special distribution let's say have also direct and indirect and let's move to the next piece just to see more details about the the curve how it's done and here was a question where we to place the led strip to place in horizontal or on the vertical of the, of the false ceiling and then to get the best let's say outcome related to the lighting solution so uh, these are the details related to the the space itself and now i want to to move to uh, a very nice i would say supplier which can can use you can actually configure your own um led strip so here for example they have also um calculator for example and i choose for example for me i want 3000 lumen per meter and then very easy i went with 4000 here is just to to highlight that um, this kind of tool are, is available on this manufacturer and you can just choose for example uh, in my case i think I, yeah i was going with this one and then here i knew that i have like 28 meters and you have also this option to be a fixed output or dimmable i went on dimmable and it's very easy and intuitive let's say uh, related uh, how many drivers you will need uh, how to cut the the, the tape um, um, for example here you can go maximum five point let's say six, 60 centimeters so it's very easy how to use it um, and configure your own system if you don't know how to do that and for me it was very very helpful and then you have here a sort of let's say different type of led strips which you can choose by yourself i went for the let's say the width of 12 millimeters i think it's better to use a uh, a bigger a bigger uh, width just for the to cover let's say a better light distribution and also for the thermal heat, uh, management i would say of the led strip and i recommend if you use the led strip to mount it on uh, aluminum profile just to do not have any problems as i mentioned earlier with the uh, thermal man management of the led strip itself and here it's very easy and intuitive again you go on for example this one i want to use and you get automatically the data sheet uh, of this lumina this led strip yeah so where you can use and so on but the most important for us when you work with dialogues is to download the photometric files 
So that's that was a little bit a uh, preview where you can search or where you can find the LED strip, how easy it is to configure it by yourself and how easy it is to just download an LDT file and just use it in Dialogs. So now let's move to Dialogs. Um, I just add also some, let's say, let's say people in this space just to highlight uh, the height of the, of this space and also the dimensions. I will move also to 2D. So this is actually a transit area and you can see on the perimeter we have the, the curve. I place the LED strip uh, with the direct um, uh, directing the luminous flux into the sea into the ceiling and then reflect it on the perimeter. It was not a big difference between uh, direct the luminous flux into the ceiling or to the to the walls. Actually, to the walls is you get bigger uniformity. Um, in this case, I uh, you can see also the false colors, so it's. They're looking very 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 nice and let's see also the results 0.63 but in this case it's also with a suspended uh, luminaire which has a distribution or as i mentioned early direct and indirect so i think it's very very nice and yeah the results are very very good as well from the lighting point of view now i'll switch off the the false color and i just want to highlight for example also to go on this level on the curve lighting so you can see it much better um, and now i can put again the false colors to see to see exactly how the light let's say it's um is distributed um on the wall but also on the on the ceiling level and see so here yeah, you get the same all over the place and here um, if I go on the luminaire side um, you will get it like this unfortunately it's quite small the unit you see here the dimensions so I had to you need to multiply it as it's per 0 0.050 so only 150 lumen but as, as you have seen Per, per one meter I choose to work with a 3000 lumen per per meter so that's that's I think it's it's enough for this application and yeah the results are as it is uh, and I can show you also the beam for example which I think it's it's a very very nice on suspended luminar so you have more indirect light in this case and then the direct so yeah and yeah i think this solution is really good and yeah i think shortly this was my message um in today's video how you can choose um the led strips where you can find um on which um, let's say supplier you can find how you can configure the system by yourself it's yeah very very easy couple of uh, minutes if you know exactly what you want and then i want to show you the final result which i achieved by by implementing this solution um, in this project so i hope that you enjoy this video and have more information relevant related to the cough lighting um give a subscribe give a yeah, subscribe to my channel if you did not do that and give a like um, for any questions please your let your comment i'm more than happy to to answer to your questions and until next time stay healthy bye bye